All right. Uh, good morning, you guys. This is probably one of the last units that we're going to talk about. This is unit 3.8, and we're talking payback period. So what you're trying to do is companies are going to make an investment in something. They want to know if they make that investment, when are you going to get your money back? And it's called payback. So if you lend me $10,000, you're probably going to want to know when you're going to get all of your $10,000 back. How long? So that's what we're going to talk about. So payback, the formula for payback is you take your initial investment and you divide it by the contribution per month. Okay, so that's one of the formulas. And this works really well if, for example, I buy a lawnmower for $5,000. My return on that lawnmower, meaning I'm going to invest $5,000, negative number. The first year that I have a lawnmower, I'm going to make $2,000 off of that lawnmower. The second year, I'm going to make another $2,000. The third year, I'm going to make another $2,000. So it kind of stays consistent from year to year. So if we were to do the math, for payback, when am I going to get that $5,000 back? I would take my investment, ooh, my arms are short, $5,000 divided by the contribution, which is $2,000. And we want to know per month. Now, this is year, that's month. So we have to divide this by 12. And the math, I don't know, somewhere around 30 months is when, when you're going to get your money back. So if we were to look at it over here, I put out five grand. The first year, I only made $2,000 off of it. I haven't made my money back. Second year, I made another $2,000. So I'm $1,000 short of making my money. So now I go into year three. Okay, and somewhere in year three, I'm getting that back. So if I do the math for this one, this would be 12 months, 12 months, and then somewhere in between here, I'm going to get my money back in year three. So this is pretty straightforward. This is an easy one. Um, the reason that it's easy is because the cash flow coming in for, the, for that investment is 2000 It's the same, and we know that that's not going to happen. So this is part one. I'll be right back with part two, where we're going to do a cumulative cash flow problem, which is a little bit harder.